Hello everyone, this is Rock Hill Rock. Thank you once again for tuning back into my channel. I hope all is well with you and yours. And I know that by the time I post this, it will be after Halloween with all the editing and everything is done and see my schedule. But anyway, I hope you all had a fun and safe um, spooky Halloween. And you can tell today I have a seafood bowl skewer style. And I made some, these ones, I don't know if you all have seen my other video. Let me see here, let me get a little closer here. I don't even know how this is going to show up with the green screen, but I did make some um, deviled eggs. Um, I call them deviled alien eggs. Um, I made, I think it was for last year. Well, they kind of had like, you know, an Asian kind of inspired flair. This one I went for heat. So I think with this one, I think with the last one I called them what, the demon alien eggs. I think, oh, the deviled alien eggs. I think this one because I went for something really, really, really spicy, but you know what, with flavor. So I think I'm gonna call this one Dragon Fire Eggs, Double Eggs Dragon Fire. I don't know what I might name it. I'll find out what it is, but, um, and then have all the ingredients. Right, and so, and I have, um, of course, you know, just in the true seafood bowl fashion, have uh, some, uh, kibasa sausage, um, potatoes. Um, well, I feel like I need this one, but then I was like, they're trying to get everything together with the angles. So I'm not supposed to be able to see the food, but then I don't want to be spilling stuff all over my plate, my place, my face, my everything. <laughs> but, um, yeah, what was that? Potatoes, shrimp, uh, what was it called? Kibasa sausage. And um, I have corn on the cob. Now I do have the buns on the skewers and I have some without the skewers because I do like to do the typewriter with my corn on the cob. This was the typewriter. So I'll, I'll show you what the typewriter is. But before I get to that, I also made a nice little beverage over here. And I think I decided to name this one the Crypt Keeper. Now, of course, you always have the option to make it um, with or without um the alcohol whether you want a mocktail or a little cocktail or virgin whatever you want to call it that's completely up to you and remember to always drink responsibly and if you're not supposed to be drinking then don't okay but i'm gonna show y'all i think y'all already know what i mean by i'm gonna go ahead and let y'all know because i know because this sauce that i made is a um it's a butter based sauce so probably by the end of this video I don't have butter probably in my eyeball and everywhere, but it's all right. I'm here for it. <laughs> okay? But you know, let me just first get some of this sauce. Let me get some of this sauce. And with my sauce too, actually, let me just do a little typewriter right quick. Those no no. Oh my god, so so good. I don't know spoon here now. I've made so many variations of the sauce. I love it. And I just love all the um the consistency with the um sauteed onions. And I've got the um, peppers from my garden and jalapenos and that the spice and everything and all that goodness. I love that. So without further ado, so don't let me see how you know, let's pause for the calls. I'm gonna have to get me a little plate because this is sitting up so high. I can see this probably gonna be a, a seafood bowl bloodbath. <laughs> now, I haven't tested this out to see how it is, you know, eating the corn on the cob <laughs> on a skewer, but hey, have fun. Have fun, that's what it's about. I'm here to have fun and enjoy myself in the process. Well, that's what fun is, ain't it? Can't be having fun if you're enjoying yourself. Oh, nice like. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. I'm telling those onions because I cooked them down first. Mm. I felt that all on my chin. <laughs> oh, I think I have a look a mess, but that's all right. That's all right, but it's good. I'm gonna pull one of these, off, one of my sausages off. Mm, mm, mm. 
Um, I'm the type of person I love to do a lot of um, not only like before become you know licensed and styling um hairstylist, barber, nail technician, all that stuff. I've always liked this type of thing, and even when I started doing like the makeup that people consider it scary or whatever it is, I mean I don't do it. I mean I wasn't doing for Halloween. Those are things just I normally do anyway. I would go to the grocery store, have my fangs in. And it would be like, you know, it could be February. It could be March. It's not necessarily for Halloween. But um, I'll tell you one of the funniest <laughs> things is when um, one of my um, designs, um, I was doing a, a reptilian type of design. Um, I was in the midst of it, I almost finished my design. And one of my friends called me and said that their car broke down, so they called me. And of course my friend's not gonna be like, oh my gosh, I can't come and help you because you know I got make this um monster lizard makeup on my face. Or they say, you gotta wait till I wash it off. I went and got in my car as is. And can you imagine the looks and everything I got when I was driving? And then some other people just looking like in disbelief, just his jaw dropping. I was like, you didn't know that reptiles drive navigators? We can drive. <laughs> and then I'm just driving this looking straight forward. Like, yeah, I see people like, <laughs> it's funny to see the responses. I mean, some people asking me to take pictures and stuff. But you know, I was kind of like in a rush so I had to get my friend and shit to get to work. But like, um, the one I did was inspired by Dolph Mal. Actually, and that's one of the things I love to, I'll just, you know, just see something. I'm like, okay, I'll just look on the computer and just look for a reference. You know, it might not be exactly like what it's inspired by. But um, I started with using, um, to test it out before I use all that product and paint and everything. I should just use some lipstick first to try to get an idea. Then I should use all the face paint and everything and I liked it. It was like so funny doing the different facial expressions and then it looked so different because you know, it was like I have, you know, of course you see out the lip piercing and then I had the little stud in. So I was like, hey, you gotta go with the club. But yeah, I'm also in using um, with the, the material that you have. You know, it's so creative because the one of the looks I have like, um, it wasn't a complete look, but I have like the, um, like all the, the fangs that would like take up the whole bigger mouth. That prosthetic was made completely with just household items. Um, I did that so many years ago. I didn't use like latex or any of that stuff. Let me get a sip of the Crypt Keeper. Oh yes. Ooh, yes. And that tartness of the sour apple or the green apple that I put in there, the juice. So of course I had to strain it. But um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, because for that one, I used, it was um, Kleenex, just um, regular, like, you know, Elmer School glue. So um, again, and then for the, like, the blood effect, I just used red velvet cake, some lip gloss, the teeth or fangs I made, I just used some, um, some um, press on nails. Well, they, they weren't press on, but just um, the tips of the nails, which you can buy. And it was like, cause I never used like the thumbs and whatever, cause I have really small fingers. So I was like, let's put this to use. So I just cut them into the shape of teeth and then painted it some yellow and red. And this, um, my was like, and that's, that's what I used. So just household items. And then I just glued it all together, let it dry, stuck it in there. So I'm very resourceful, very creative, innovative. And I will read 
repurpose, refurbish, and make all types of designs out of all types of stuff. I just love to create. Once again, this is Rock Hill Rock. Thank you so much for tuning in. Be nice, these are our friends. <laughs> Don't forget to like, subscribe, turn your notifications. If you'd like to leave a comment, even if it's just to say hi, I will say hi back. Don't forget, if you have any suggestions, let me know. <laughs> respectfully and don't forget to share the channel tell a friend tell a friend tell a friend and then we can all be one we can we can all be friends until next time <laughs> matinee behave like comment subscribe I post this video probably after Halloween with the editing and everything, but I still wanted to, to, to post. So, um, yeah. Do you see something? I declare I feel like something's behind me. Do you?